Today, we got another edition of eBay Hacks with some out of print nerglings. Yo, dog, Candy Boucher here, Next Level Painting, hitting you up on the literal best of all days. Coming to you from the Beats Lab in Hollywood, California, we're doing it again. Today, we got another installment of eBay Hacks, volume 50, I don't know. Today, we're gonna be working on some nerglings. I picked up some pearl painted nerglings from eBay. You guys know the routine, but I won't lie. I didn't care how well painted they were. I just needed nerglings. Adepticon 2018 is less than a month away and I need at least 18 nerglings. Now, anytime I'm looking for some cool little minis online, I always go to eBay and look for the out of print. That's what I like. Uh, you know, nerglings are one of the first models I ever bought for my Death Guard army back in phew, late 90s. So, the little dudes running around like gremlins. That's my favorite style. So we picked up a whole bunch, but today I'm gonna to show you how I approach it. If somebody already painted half the model for me, I'm not gonna strip it and start over. Hey man, I'm gonna show you guys a couple of quick techniques to securing that paint job without stripping the models down to bare bones. We're gonna throw some advanced basing techniques on here. Some quick little highlight tricks, a little bit of wash technique. This is the whole thing right here, guys. Free form in the Beats Lab, eBay hacks at a print nerdling edition. If you guys don't mind, I'm gonna take a quick second to shout out a couple clutch individuals over on my Patreon page. We got Dylan, Zach, Carl, Sean, Joseph, Gabriel, John, The Chuzzler, Paul, Scott, Kevin, Kyle, Steve, Lance, Brett, Kunimitsu, Nathan, Mitchell, Peter, Alan, Thomas, Jonathan, Zeller, thank you guys. I can't do it without you. You guys came and clutch this week. One last thing. IRL Painting Class, Southern California. Soul Cal Games and Comics, April 7th. Links in the description box below. All right, guys, let's do this. eBay Rescue, Nerglings. Now take a look at all these Nerglings I've been scooping up off the internet. I'm cornering the market on these little guys. Love them. So I was working on a few of them the other day and then I was like, hey man, maybe I should stop for a second pull out the camera and film what I'm doing. So I got a whole lot of them that were greens. They were all chipped up, banged up, damaged. I repaired them, did our normal routine here. And then I was like, man, well, let's put a pin in it. Show off what we're about to do. So here it is, surface primer, Vallejo. I use this to repair any chips. I just put a couple of spots on anywhere the metal is exposed, that old pewter, and I let it dry. I'm not gonna strip these models down. I'm gonna just do it this way. We're gonna grab some Bogren Brown. And you can see this guy provided me some yellow Nurglings and some blue Nurglings. So we're gonna water down Bogren Brown after that primer dries that we just spotted on. And we're just gonna cover these yellow dudes just all over. Basically, we're gonna treat that light yellow as a primer. And we're gonna start going. Not gonna waste any time here. Exile Blue, Privateer Press, little Arcane Blue, P3 style. We're gonna just kind of repair the blue dude in the middle. I'm, I'm like, hey, you know what? This guy decided he wanted a blue and some ye yellow nerglings. I'm like, okay, I'll ride with that. Let's do it. So we're just repairing this little dude, making sure his colors are nice and even. We're gonna, you know, like repair any not <laughs> desirable paint strokes. Some of it's pretty rough. Some of it's pretty heavily dry brushed. And we're just kind of just lightly repairing it with a little glaze technique. You know, you see it's an organic process. We're not even really that concerned with how clean our strokes are. We're gonna leave some of the details he painted intact even. Like it's fine, he did a lot of the work for us. So I'm feeling that. Second coat, Bogren Brown over the little nerglings on the outside, repairing these little dudes, breathing life back into them. Two thin coats will probably be fine because then we're gonna whip out the airbrush, start building up some colors using probably a little bit of wash technique if you guys know me in this video so i always like to take it to 11 though so the foundation is important then coats get that primer looking good and we're going to pull out some old yellow we're going to load up our airbrush classic airbrush flow improver just a little bit of yellow and we're just going to lightly spritz some of this over the bogan brown giving ourselves a nice transition very clean very bright taking it to that 11 because we will be using a wash technique later in the video. But you see how easy that is? We already got some nice looking dudes, real smooth transitions. 
All right. What we are going to do now is going to brighten that yellow up one notch further. We're going to use a bone color. This is a Menoth highlight. Any bone color will do. We're going to mix it in with the yellow and we're just going to shoot it on over the top one last time. Create a nice bright, just ochre yellow. It's going to look good though when we're done. We're going, to, we're going to bring that pop to it. All right, same deal. We're going to grab that arcane blue, that's P3. And we're going to just do a couple spritzes with the airbrush. Just spot it on. Hit that little nurgling in the middle. The dude carrying that club doing his thug dizzle. Shoot on, you know, belly highlight, face highlight. He's so small, you can't really go that crazy. Just anything we can to give ourselves a fun little transition. So at least after we're done, it looks like we did some hand blending. All right. Screamer pink. G-dubs. One of my favorite colors right now. I'm going to start cutting in some deets on these yellow dudes, all their guts and weird nurgly things. We're gonna paint that all one, one same color. We're gonna paint it with this Screamer Pink. Even the blue dude just makes it easier. You know, I might not lean on it that heavy on other models, but these dudes are so small. We're gonna repair some of the uneven strokes in some of these details with that same color, that Menoff highlight. Too easy. Just get all the colors blocked in before we lean on anything. Same thing, teeth, horns, anything you want. You can go as crazy as you want. Remember though, these guys are smaller than your fingernail, so you don't have to go too crazy to create a good looking model that has good technique. So there it is. They're ready. They are three colors right now, but you know, we're gonna do one step further. We're gonna grab that Army Painter wash system. A little mild brown, little strong tone mix. These are always great, uh, you know, warmer organic colors right here. Uh, quick shade mixing medium, which is liquid gold. I'm going to pour a little in there to, to thin it out, smooth it out. And we're going to do a heavy, heavy wash over these yellow nerglings. They're going to look real good. At least I hope they will. So swirl it together, get your medium mixed in and just kind of dab it on. You know, I'm not going to go heavy with the paint strokes here because I didn't use any varnish techniques which I've done in other videos. So I'm just gonna dab it on, kind of let it naturally find its way into the cracks and the, and the crevices. Use light brush pressure. Don't wanna actually, you don't wanna like essentially reconstitute any of the paint that just dried and then rub it right off. So just be careful here. That's why we usually use a varnish, but I was moving quick today. You don't always need it. So we're gonna basically create definition. We're gonna create contrast right now all those shadows are going to start popping out and these nerglings are going to start taking form they're going to look amazing those dudes are just chilling throwing up their guts being mischievous i don't even know what these guys are doing i don't even know if those two on the outside are really nerglings like i mean man i don't even remember those guys we're going to grab a little blue tone a little dark tone and we're going to wash the blue dude in the middle same protocol get your quick shade mixing medium on deck we're just going to do the same thing, kind of dab it in. I don't even care if it gets on his purple, pink guts. Like, it's like, I think for five seconds, I'm thinking about not getting it on there. And then I was just like, nah, fuck it. Let's just go. Get some definition, get some contrast on this little dude. Little mini blue demon in the middle. The Skittles, Nurglings. That's what I'm going to name them. Doing his Thug Dizzle. Yes, I love this guy. Basically... It's just gonna be about letting these washes dry, going to the next stage. But they're looking solid. We can stay busy though. We got other things we can do. We gotta work on this base. Speaking of which, soft body black, secret weapon miniatures. We used Vallejo pumice to make the base. Now, if you're curious about that, we have a video on Patreon we just dropped last week. Completely covers this process. So what we're doing is just gonna go crazy with the soft body black. One of the best colors that Secret Web Miniatures makes, it's a wash. Big shout out to Les Bursley, the innovator and creator of that formula. Looking solid. Let it just do its thing. There it is, dried up. It's got a good look. Solid definition. Now we're gonna move on. Flash gets yellow. You could just leave it like that, but I like to do some organic highlights on these little dudes. Create a little glaze, Grab some fat flash gets yellow. Grab a little of uh, Menoth white highlight that we used earlier in the airbrush. Just get a little glaze going, real thin, and don't be afraid to go aggressive. Just start, you know, dropping some bombs, like some huge hyper highlights. 
you know, don't be so concerned with how smooth the transitions are now. You want to bring attention to these little dudes. They're very small, they're very subtle details. So just drop hyper highlights. You know, big, huge sections like that shoulder, pow. Bicep, pow. Nose, eyebrows, just go nuts. It'll look great, especially if you keep the paint thin and you're working on the same exact spectrum that you were working on earlier before the wash stage. We're using the same exact mix we used to highlight it with our airbrush before we washed it. And we're just slashing in a couple of extra highlights and they're gonna look amazing. It's just a few extra minutes of work and it's gonna look solid. These guys are very fun and easy to paint. Pretty low pressure model. Just cutting in some of the ribs here, some of the spikes on his back. Get some of that shoulder, belly, thighs. They got all, they're just cool little models, you know, like they're, they're just kind of therapeutic to paint on. I could paint on these little dudes all day. We're going in for the second pass, hyper highlight, added a little bit more Menoth highlight, a little bit less yellow. We're gonna let it pop, let it do its best here. Just thugging out eBay rescue edition, out of print, <laughs> Nurglings. God, I have so many of these guys now. I need them, Depticon. 2018, I'm bringing Nurglings, all Nurgling Army. You heard it here first. Feeling it. I like what I'm looking at here, but we got to give some love to that blue guy. And we will. First things first, we're going to grab some of that Emperor's Children Pink, and we're just going to slice in a couple of details on these guts that they're spitting up. Same deal, hyper highlight. Don't overthink it. Just slash in quick. Stay in motion. Stay organic. Just go. We're do, I mean, we're basically using the same color on all of them. They're all getting the same exact pink, same exact, you know, yellow on the other two outside guys. I'm like, you know, in a perfect world, maybe I would paint every single Nurgling a different color on the base. That ain't the world I live in right now. So we're going to grab a little of that arcane blue. We're going to start doing the same thing we did on the outside on those yellow dudes. Cut in some of those muscles, skin flaps, wrinkles. We're just going to move. We're not going to sit here and try to wet blend or softly blend anything in. We're just basically dragging straight aggressive highlights onto those details and letting it ride. It's going to go a long way with these little dudes. And then once you get them all cut in, all sliced in, looking their best, all those muscle groups, those fingers, those toes, shoulders, biceps, brows, noses. Then you're gonna to wanna to add a, a highlight color real quick. Could be white, could be an off-white, anything you want. Blues take to it pretty well. And then you're gonna to wanna to kinda of do it all again. So, same deal. A Little bit of white mixed in. Just add a couple of little dabs here and there. Reinforce the highlights and all of a sudden, your Nurgling looks amazing. Looks like he's right out of a comic book. Love that little guy. See, I'm not sure, man. Like, the, the guy in between, he's he's the Nurgling I remember. The guys on the outside, I'm kind of, like, struggling to place those, man. God, is that a different edition? So I'm going to use a quick little dry brush right here, using some of that Men Off White highlight. We're just going to dry brush the base now. We're going to move pretty quick here. We're not too worried about how the base looks at this stage. Real rough dry brush will do us just fine because we have to start doing some cool squad markings on these guys because I am painting for a tournament here. So part of the rubric of Adepticon is can you identify the units? So we're going to have uh, six total units of Nurglings. So I need something to make them unique. And it's going to be these craters that I built into the base, right? So we're going to paint a little necrotite green in there. And if, like I said, if you're curious about these craters, we have a video we just dropped on Patreon the other day, how we do this. So I'm going to basically have every unit of three Nurglings with a different color toxic waste pool. That looks pretty shitty, I'm not going to lie. Luckily, we got our airbrush on deck. We're going to squirt a little bit of uh, green back into there, smooth it out, give ourselves a little OSL effect, object source light. And then we're going to make them look like they're growing, like they're glowing toxic waste pools, like straight out of the warp. So we'll start adding our iconic signature blend. Flash gets yellow into the pot. Spray it into those little pools, those little craters we made. Give ourselves a nice, fresh transition. Too easy. There it is. Pow. Easy mode all day, every day. 
You're going to want to get it nice and bright. Uh, you can add white if you want. You don't have to. You, but you can go back and forth if you mess up and you go too hard with the yellow. You can just dry it out. Go back to the green. That's the cool thing about working with an airbrush. Usually staying pretty thin. So, you know, like you can see there, barely getting any work done here now. It's like, all right, just slow, slow, methodical. You know, we may have gotten some spotting there. It's no big deal. Like I said, I'll let it dry for a second, come back in for the second pass. It'll work itself out. So, here it is. Pow. We want them to be glowing. We want them to look their best because it is a signature piece of the base. Like, it's going to draw the eye for very little effort. So I'm feeling that. Now it's time to make them actually toxic waste pools. Like I said, we recently did a whole video on this that goes into much more detail. But right now, Secret Weapon Miniatures Water Effect. All day, every day, it's a sponsor of Next Level Painting. Just gonna pour some in there. It's a liquid resin. It dries crystal clear. And now we're gonna use Gamers Grass right here. Gamersgrass.com, one of our sponsors. We're gonna use some tufts of grass. I'm gonna slice them up with this X-Acto knife. I'm gonna make them into little tufts, twirl them up between my fingers, make them into cool little shoots of grass, and we're just gonna put them in there anywhere that we think is classy using our trusty X-Acto knife. Boom. Rather than use a whole big tuft, you can do anything you want with these guys. Feeling that? Second tuft of grass right there. We're doing all this while that Realistic water effect from Secret Web Miniatures dries. And then take a look right here. Pow. Feeling that. Is it ready to go? They're identifiable. Now let me show you what I mean by identifiable. So I was working on all these bases simultaneously. So you can see what I'm doing right here. Anyway, guys, play on players. See you at Adepticon.